Hey guys, this video needs to be really quick, so if you're a beginner, there's probably going to be a lot of things that I go by way too quickly. Just try your best, and if you're an experienced trader, you should understand a lot of what I'm saying here, but we are going to have to move quickly. We are at a very critical point in this market, and currently in active trades, I've got students calling me left and right here, and it is a very busy time, but I knew that I had to make this video right now because like I said, we, we're at such a critical point right now. We are pretty much at the edge of a cliff. And so we can either fall off that cliff and absolutely crash viciously here, or we can get back to safety. I'm going to show you exactly what that means, what you're looking out for right now, and what is next. So if you watched the most recent video where I told you exactly what we expected here, uh, a two-day pullback. Obviously, that's clickbait. A lot of you guys take that way too seriously. But that's exactly why I do it. it. gets me a lot of comments and it's fun. So here, let's get to the comment that I posted here. Prediction slash plan. Expecting a slight pullback September 16th and 17th. After this, we reassess the side-by-side -side pattern and determine will we get the bullish follow-through like we saw in April and May. And so what that means, obviously, is when we look at the comparison, we had bullish reversal candle followed by two surging days followed by a two-day pullback. And so that's exactly how we knew we were going to get a two-day pullback here. So you had the bullish reversal candle followed by two surging day, uh, followed by a two-day pullback. Like I said, I got to move quickly. Okay, so just try your best to understand uh, if you're someone who usually likes a slower breakdown. But guys, I've got four to five uh, bullish reasons why we could break out here. And I've got a, a good list of bearish reasons why we're about to absolutely collapse as well. So let's dive into the bullish bullish reasons first, guys. Reason number one, Bitcoin can absolutely rip higher right now is because obviously going back to this analog that we have here from April slash May, on the next candle, right, the next day, we saw it surge higher by about 9 to 10%. And so given that this analog has been so damn accurate and precise so far and that's exactly how we nailed this two days up two days back right here that's exactly why you could see a, a big move higher is because the analog is showing us that now second main reason you can see a big move higher right now is because we're currently holding support at the fib level that you're gonna see right here on the chart so you can see if we take it to a slower or smaller time frame they've bought this level currently three to four times so let's zoom out here so you can see Boom, so we broke out, retested, support went higher, then we came here, they bought the dip instantly, came here, bought the dip instantly, came here, bought the dip so far. And so this is also a bearish reason, I'm about to break that down when we get into the bearish reasons, okay? Uh, but right here, this is a bullish reason as well, because we continue to hold support at this FIB level, and what you'll notice if you're paying attention, this FIB level is not just your average support level, it is also perfectly coinciding with guys a support at the blue and red line which is the most popular moving averages which is the 10 and 21 period moving averages so you can see there are three supporting factors and levels that are all working together in unison to keep the price up that is both exponential moving averages and the fib level which is right uh, here Okay, at around 46.7, 46.8. So that's three supporting levels and factors right there. Those, the FIB and the two exponential moving averages that are working together to keep the price up right now. Obviously, the fourth bullish reason, right? So that was three bullish reasons right there. And the fourth reason was because the analog shows us that the next day should be a major move higher. So that's four bullish reasons. And the fifth bullish reason we actually have here for why Bitcoin can absolutely rip higher here okay is because you also have a chart pattern to go with it okay so you have a bull flag right here okay boom right here boom so you, you we're hovering inside the flag but on a break of the flag you can see a massive move higher here uh, but that's not guaranteed to play out because at the end of the day uh, it can break to the downside and so that like I said we got bearish reasons to cover I'm about to get into those but let's just stick bullish right now right so if we're bullish and if we think it's gonna break out you're gonna take the measurement from you know just basically the between the flag and you take that here and you're gonna go ahead and take that measurement there so basically you can see a move up to 48,000 487 okay just from this chart pattern breakout alone which once again do you see how many factors are adding up together here you have a bullish chart pattern you have a bullish support level and this support level is not only just a, just a regular support level, it's a FIB level. Not only is it just a FIB level, it's also 
two exponential moving averages working together. So it's like four supports moving or working together, okay? So that's very, very bullish if we can continue to hold this level. But now we have to consider the bearish factors. So there are your bullish factors for why we can absolutely take off here if we can hold this level, in my opinion. But on the contrary, okay, we've got a lot of bearish reasons as well, okay? So reason number one is the stock market is correcting for, in my opinion, what is going to be the first time in a long time. And the reason I'm so confident that the S&P is actually going to correct this time is because on this beautiful uptrend you see right here, you can see they buy the dip so quickly every single time. Okay, We almost never spend more than two days below or at this trend. Right, They instantly buy the dip here. And so now we've hovered at the trend of support for about four to five days now. And so what does that tell you? That they are not so... I guess antsy or they're not so quick to buy the dip this time and on top of that what do you notice about this chart well every single time they bought the dip on this uptrend the exponential moving averages remain or retain their bullish trajectory but this time for the first time on this entire uptrend we actually see the exponential moving averages are converging to the downside and so it's this subtle difference right here and the volume that shows me that this is not just a buy the dip scenario. This will be a trend reversal and we will see the S&P 500 correct and head lower here. So if you don't know, what does that have to do with Bitcoin? Well, if the stock market is selling off, that's highly bearish for Bitcoin. Uh, historically, Bitcoin has a very hard time uh, staying bullish if the stock market's bullish and that obviously makes sense. So they are correlated. It is a tra trailing correlation by about five days. But that's besides the point, guys, that the stock market's dropping hard. Bitcoin in 90% of cases will follow suit. So that being said, that's bearish reason number one, guys, is stock market sell-off. We've got Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday, which obviously people are on edge because they could finally start to raise interest rates. Who knows, though? Okay, so basically when you have such a catalyst like that, that's highly bearish for all things growth related because that means the cost to borrow is higher and we all know people do borrow money to buy Bitcoin, right? We all know that businesses borrow money to buy, uh, or not buy, but just businesses borrow money. I mean, it's just overall, you don't want higher interest rates for the market and that includes Bitcoin, even though I've had people argue with me and say interest rates has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Yes, it does because it overall impacts the entire economy and the entire world. So yes, it does, okay? So that being said, that's your second reason is the Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday. If we continue further here, okay, on bearish reasons, uh, you know, the, the next reason is we have touched this FIB level, uh, you know, four times now, damn it. Okay, so we touched it once, twice, three times, four times. And as you know, the more times you touch a level, the weaker it's going to get because there's less and less buy orders typically that can be filled there, right? Think about it. If you wanted to buy the dip on Bitcoin at 20,000 and you probably went all in, right? So like right now, if Bitcoin dipped to 20,000, a lot of you would really want to buy that dip. And so you probably put all your money in thinking you hit the jackpot. But guess what? Next time, so let's say it bounces from 20,000 to 23,000, back down to 20,000, you might not have any, any cash left to buy that dip again because you used it all in the first dip. And so now we've dipped there four times. So the more times we get to that level, the less likely there is to be cash at that level to support and hold the price up. That's just common sense. That makes sense. That should make sense anyways. But some people like, you know, it's just weird. But okay, so that's your next bearish reason. We've already touched this level four times. And your next bearish reason, and we got more bearish reasons, by the way, is as you can tell, okay, the whales are playing stupid fucking games, okay? They're playing them over and over. And this is why I don't recommend trading to mo most people, even though that's what I do full time, okay? So because, or especially Bitcoin trading, because the whales, the, the whole game is how do I liquidate more people? How do I make more people lose money? Because to whales, it's all about, you know, think about it. If you have a million dollars worth of Bitcoin right now and you got liquidated on a million dollars worth of Bitcoin, good luck getting another million dollars of Bitcoin, right? You're going to have to work. You're going to have to earn the money to go and get back a million dollars of Bitcoin. So the whales game is how do we liquidate more people? Because the more people we liquidate, you know, we're basically getting rid of other people. Other people are getting rid of their Bitcoin and they get to get more Bitcoin themselves, right? The more people you take out of the game, 
the more is left for you. Does that make sense? So that's the whole whales game. That's why you see these ridiculous pumps and dumps and manipulation because it's all about how can you liquidate other people. At least that's my opinion. And it makes a lot of sense because if you see this trend reversal here, we see this massive dump followed by massive pump. So guess what? Everyone thinks it's, oh, oh, it's going to crash. It's going to crash. It's horrible. And so they start shorting it. Boom. The whales liquidate them. Then they dump it. Everyone's like, oh, we're going, we're going to crash. We're going to crash. Boom. The whales instantly push the higher, uh, the price higher within a matter of just an hour and liquidate those people. So that's all a whale's game is, is how can we make more people get liquidated and lose money? Okay. That's why I don't recommend trading unless you're trading with a coach here at Crash Trading. Okay. And it is completely free now and you don't pay until you get the profits, which is the only program in the world that does that, that I know of at least. So, okay, let's move forward. That's your second bearish. Oh, I didn't explain that reason. I was explaining the whole whale philosophy. Okay, but the reason this is bearish, okay, is because, or this can actually go both ways, but in my opinion, right, so think about it, we keep testing these levels, right, and so think about it, if you're a short seller, right, I, like, for example, if you're a short seller, you'll 180% understand what I mean. We don't like to short things when things are already going down. We want to short things when they're going up, because when we short things when they're going down, we're lowering our entry price. Um, and it's already going down, which means we should have been shorting it when it was up to actually have a profit in that gap in that area of difference right there, right? So, for example, if you're a short seller, you're not going to short the support level. Why would you short a support level? You're going to wait for it to bounce before you short it again. And so what do you see every single time? Well, we keep getting the support level. It bounces, then they dump it. It bounces, then they dump it. And so what does that tell you? Well, obviously, you're a smart trader, right? So you're not going to short the fucking bottom, right? You're going to short the tops. And so what do the short sellers do? Well, they allow the price to come down. Then whoever wants to buy the dip, they keep buying the fucking dip. They, they push it higher. But guess what? Then the, the, the short sellers then short the top. And then they push it down. Then they, they, they stop, right? You don't short the bottom. You let whoever wants to buy the dip. You let them buy the bottom. And then you short the bounce. So the, then it drops, then you let whoever's left buy the dip, and then you, you, you add to the short, and that's the downtrend that you're seeing right now, right? So it's all about accumulating a bigger short position when you allow these major bounces and pumps right here, okay? At least that's my opinion. So as a smart short seller, you don't want to short the bottom, you want to short the bounces, and that's what we continue seeing is that every single time, guys, uh, the, the, the up move is getting weaker, and that's obviously what makes a downtrend, uh, but in my opinion, this could be uh, major players accumulating major short positions while mostly retail traders uh, and, and just smaller time traders are buying the dips. Now, I don't think retail traders can move the market to this magnitude, uh, so there's not a 100% guaranteed way to explain this, but at least that's my view of that, okay? Now, another way to look at it uh, from a bearish perspective is the fact that the U.S. dollar is absolutely surging. It's up almost half a percent today, which if you know anything about the dollar, that's a ton, okay? That's a big move for the U.S. dollar in one single day. And so recently, we had this head and shoulders pattern developing, but you can see it's completely been invalidated. So here's the left shoulder, here's the head, and we were forming the right shoulder, but as you can see, we just broke through the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern. So that just invalidated a bearish scenario for the dollar, which is bullish for uh, Bitcoin and the stock market. And that makes sense for two reasons. Number one, we have the Federal Reserve meeting, which means if they raise interest rates, that it would obviously you know, cause the dollar to be more valuable. So that makes sense why it's going up here. And reason number two, well, think about it. Bitcoin and the stock market are selling off which means when they're selling off, the dollar literally becomes more valuable because you are giving up, you are selling your either your stocks, your assets, right? You're selling your Bitcoin, and you are literally, when you sell your position, you are literally getting U.S. dollars for that position. So when you sell your Bitcoin, you are saying that you prefer, in that moment, you prefer U.S. dollars over the Bitcoin, right? So that's what causes the dollar to go higher because people are selling their positions because the market is going down. That gives the dollar more value. So when the market crashes, the dollar spikes out higher. And so what do we see right now? The dollar is spiking out higher. Now, obviously, it's not a crash right now, but the market is selling off nicely. Okay, so that makes sense why the dollar is going higher here. That makes sense why the head and shoulders has now been invalidated. And that makes sense why the dollar can continue even higher, which is highly bearish for Bitcoin and the stock market. So those are your main reasons, uh, bullish and bearish. 
Uh, we are prepared to switch bullish if need be because, guys, we have a lot of bullish reasons as well here, as well as, like I said, we've got the bearish reasons as well. So, like I said, it's a, it's an amazing time to be a trader right now, uh, but not so much if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but uh, what 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 was I going to do? I mean, I basically explained a shit ton of reasoning. I hope I didn't uh, overcomplicate things or make it too much. I, I hope I didn't you know, just give you too much information. But those are your bullish and bearish reasons. So at the end of the day, to summarize this up real quickly, guys, <laughs> there's an easy way to summarize this, okay? So let's let's zoom out here, okay? Uh, let's actually go back to this chart with the FIB level. Okay, if Bitcoin breaks through this FIB level, which is not, once again, it's not just a FIB level, it's a FIB level, support level, and two exponential moving averages, right? So it's a huge fucking support. If we break through that, I believe Bitcoin is officially fucked, and we are about to head lower by a lot. And so if we break this low level, guys, I think it's going to be super, super quick. It's going to be nasty, okay? It could be at least. Uh, at least that's my expectation. Uh, and so break of that, guys, we got a lot of air to the downside. And what you have to understand is recently we just spent, okay, look right here. Uh, back when we, we, we had this crash right here that I predicted on the channel. You can go back and watch that video. You can see here, okay, you had one, two, three, really four attempts to go lower past this 43 to 44 range. And they failed. And so we had this run up, this relief bounce. And so next time we head back there, guys, we will break this zone and we will head lower. You see what I mean? Because we already, it was four times we had the relief, but that if that's all we could do, we will break these levels next time and we will go down to 38K next if we decide to break down here. Final bearish reason I forgot to mention actually is this bull flag can be bearish as well if you decide to break below the trend, which it's hard to do that because once again, it's a bullish pattern, right? It's a bullish continuation pattern most times, but that just shows you how much more bearish it really is, right? If you can break bearish on a bull pattern, well, guess where the break of the bull pattern would happen? It would happen on the break of the FIB level, the support level, and the two exponential moving averages. So that just... Everything is so lined up perfectly here, and you can see how all these things coexist together. Okay, so that's your next bearish reason. I think I've explained enough reasons here. Um, but yeah, guys, serious possibility we're either about to break out higher big time here or about to flop. Okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, we are at the edge of the cliff, and it's, I mean, it's up to the market participants. Are we about to fucking flip bearish, or are we about to surge higher? It could be either, guys. Um, and you guys know I hate saying it could go up or down. You guys know in almost every single video I'm going to give you my definitive prediction on exactly what's going to happen. Uh, and so the truth is sometimes you just don't know. Uh, but in my opinion, and I am a little biased because we are currently short right now, if you want to see the live trade, make sure this video gets 300 likes and we can do that. Uh, but obviously I'm a little biased right now and I do want to break down because I am short. And let me... God damn, I literally posted this video telling you exactly what, what was going to happen, expecting slight pullback September 16th and 17th, you know, so like this is all expected here. And now the, 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 the key is, will we hold up here, you know, um, but so far the price action is very weak here. If you're a bull, it, you don't want to see it hovering around the support so long. Like I said, the support continues to get weaker and weaker. We don't see a lot of buyers stepping in right now. Obviously, that can change at a moment's notice because, I mean, we know how quickly whales can just pump the price in a matter of seconds, right? So that can all change. But as of now, I am obviously leaning bearish here for a breakdown, which would be, guys, I'm just going to keep it honest with you and straight here. We break this level. I, it's Bitcoin's fucked. It's fucked, okay? Uh, I'm sure a lot of people dislike the video for that. I don't give a fuck, okay? Bitcoin is screwed if we break that level, and we are about to head a lot lower. So this is your pivotal point, guys. Like I said, critical, critical point in the charts right now. And those are all the factors you have to consider if you're a trader right now. At least that's what I'm considering. So as you can tell, we're not like other channels out there who just come up with narratives and stories and say that, you know, Bitcoin's going to go to 100,000, blah, 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 this, that. Okay. We actually study the charts. And when you can do that, you can come up with your own analysis and your own ideas and know when you're going to be bullish and know when you're going to be bearish based on the risk to reward and the opportunity that is indeed in front of you. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Like I said, I had to really speed through this, guys, because we're busy. I got, I literally got a student 
calling like every five seconds right now, okay? Not actually like every five minutes. So is we're in, you know, actively trading this. So my point is, guys, uh, I hope this video wasn't too fast, but at the end of the day, I hope you got something out of it. Those are all your bullish and bearish reasons, and you have my overall bias. <laughs> Clearly, I'm biased. I'm fucking short of it right now, uh, but I won't hesitate to switch long because, like I said, do not overlook the bullish potential here. I mean, this can be a huge surge higher like we saw back in April or May. So really just waiting, uh, and, and ultimately, it, it's all dependent on this area that we're in right now. So guys, hope you know exactly what you're looking for right now. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. There was a lot more reasons I probably left out, but like I said, we're kind of in a rush here, and we're very, very busy. So if you want to be busy, if you want to trade with us, guys, CrashTrading.com, you can sign up and you can trade with the coach for completely free. And you only pay after you make your profits. This obviously is the best time to be trading is during a crash, during market circumstances and conditions like these. So if you've been wanting to make extra profit, you know, extra monthly income, uh, that is the way to do it uh, here with a coach at Crash Training. Because like I said, I explained like what, two minutes today about those whales. They All they want to do is liquidate you. So when you try to trade on your own, if you don't have the experience and, and the real understanding of the charts and, and the movement patterns, the whales will liquidate you and they will get you eventually. Okay, you might get lucky on a couple trades, but you will get killed. And that, that's just a sad fact. And as we all know, 90% of traders fail. And, and I'd say probably even more of them fail in Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, it's not like the stock market where some person, you know, stock market, nobody owns 10% of the market, you know. But Bitcoin, you know, people do own massive amounts of the supply. So there you guys go. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.